Okay, well, that's it for the night. For the walking around, getting to the coffee shops, just went in border one, wizard one that translates to. Um, so yeah, hotel's just around the corner. I'm gonna go there, show you what I've got from all the uh, South coffee shops, and then roll a few up and get a bit of kick, I think. I'll see you at the hotel. Okay, back in the hotel now, after the first day. So, here's the lighter collection. It's quite dark, but going pretty well already. So, I'm um, just going to go for a bit and probably hit the sack, to be honest, I'm knackered. So, here's uh, all the weed that I got. I know it's very dark in here, people, but these are the ones I showed you earlier. This one here is the... Uh, <coughs> Ice cream cake from Papillon, which wasn't that great. Probably been the worst so far. Uh, the biscotti from Katsu, quite nice. Uh, this is the one we just rolled up a joint of, which is the sherbet diesel, which is probably smelling the best. So I'm hoping this is going to be really nice. <clears throat> and the last one. Uh, that is from Roxy, and that's the blue cheese. <clears throat> Smoked that already. Uh, quite nice, especially for 12 euros a gram. But um, again, when you buy cheese in the Netherlands, it not, hasn't really got that cheese distinctive taste like in the UK. So we go out on the balcony, smoke this uh, Club Media Sherbet Diesel, and then hit the sack, because I'm going to get up early tomorrow and hit a bunch of more coffee shops. So, right, from the Alp Hotel. Signing out for tonight. Take it easy. Right then, <clears throat> just woken up uh, about half an hour ago on the second day. So just rolling up a little joint. Already had a wake and baker of what I uh, had left from the last night. So I'm just rolling up this biscotti that I got from uh, Katsu. Uh, I'm going to smoke that here, have a shower, and then I'm getting out on the uh, coffee shop tour. So I'm going to head further south and uh, hit some down there that I've not been to for a while or not been to before. So let's just roll this up. Is that right? Hopefully, I can uh, well, the smoke's on the balcony, then I'll be back viewing a bit, people, when I'm out in the streets of the dam. Here we go, people. It's another nice morning in Amsterdam. The sun's out. Okay, people, it's the morning of the second day. Hit the streets now, and uh. First things first, coffee I think. Got no uh, good make, cheap making facilities in the room, so I'm gonna go for a nice coffee and then walk a bit further south. So I'll see you in a bit. There you go, coffee company. It's got a coffee for the morning, pretty nice. Five pounds, oh, five pounds, sorry, five euros fifty though. Okay. There we are, as I was walking down further south, it's one of the greenhouses. Coffee shop, the keeper. Looks like it's open. Been in there before, though, so. Well, not too far from the destination now. Coffee and bifter in hand. Uh, smoking what I got from Solo, the great cross jello. And I think I just got across the road here. Do a left, and then I'm at the next coffee shop. So, catch up in a minute. people on Vextra, in the south of Amsterdam. Here's another coffee shop, Smoker Dam. I uh, can't actually remember what this used to be called, but it's now Smoker Down Coffee Shop and it looks shut to me, so I don't think it might be open. There we are, Smoker Down Coffee Shop. So here you go, here's Smoker Down on the other side. It's Smoker Down Coffee Shop. Once I finish this coffee, I'm going to go and have a look.
There you go, people. Smoky Dam Coffee Shop. On Vetstra in the south of Amsterdam. Just been in there. Quite a cool little place, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I didn't buy anything apart from a light because I'm going on to the next one. See you in a bit, the next coffee shop. So, people, I've just been in the uh, first coffee shop this morning, Smoker Dam. Uh, didn't buy anything. Uh, menu didn't look anything that great. Uh, quite a nice coffee shop, though. Big smoking area. Automated menus and stuff. And I uh, just got a lighter for the collection. So, I'm walking on to the next place, which is just down the road. So, about a five minute walk. And uh, then we'll show you what that coffee shop like. All right, in a bit, people. Okay, people, another coffee shop. Uh, I've not been to for a long time. I actually thought it was going to be a different one, but I think I'm thinking of Happy People. But here is a Happy Days coffee shop. Again, very fast south, so not many people really come in. Happy Days coffee shop. Let's go inside. Okay, people, so again, lovely weather. Really nice uh, in Amsterdam in September for a change. Um, well, I've just been in Happy Days coffee shop. Cool little coffee shop. They've got a little own clothing brand as well. Uh, just got a lighter again because uh, I'm heading to another coffee shop. I want to sit in and have a smoke. So back when we get close to that, got to work out where it is from here. So, well, as you know, I collect all the uh, Amsterdam coffee shop lighters. And here's the Smoker Dams version. So uh, not the best. It's just a lighter with a stick on it, but I suppose it will do. There you are, people. We've arrived here. This is the one that used to be Hep Rocky. It's a uh, coffee shop relaxed south. So let's go. We have it, people. Coffee shop relax in the south. It's just a pickup place. Uh, got a lighter. That was it because I want to sit down and smoke. So there we go. Coffee shop relax in the south of Amsterdam. Let's go and have a look at this trip for another end. There we have it. Coffee shop relax. Okay, then. So I've just been in the coffee shop relax in the south. Um, used to be Het a while ago. Um, that was my plan of that's where I was going to go and have a sit down with her, but it's just a takeaway one. So now I'm walking towards like the Amstel and I'm uh, heading over to the east of Amsterdam now because I need to find a coffee shop. I've been in three this morning, I've got three new lighters for the collection, but I quite fancy sitting down and having a nice, nice drink and a nice smoke. So, where's the next place going to be then? We're heading east. So at the moment, we're at this place, but this is the Amstel River. I think it's the river, sorry, canal. I think it's probably the biggest, most famous canal. So as you can see, people are having a lovely time today. It's beautiful. Sometimes you see people don't even work in Amsterdam, they're just doing what they want to do. But yeah, it's going to be nice to live here. I'm actually wanting to cross that river. I keep calling it a river. I'm actually wanting to cross that canal to get to like the east of Amsterdam. But uh, unfortunately, I've got to walk quite far up here to do that. So, anyway, let's keep walking. But I just thought I'd show this bit. Lovely little houseboat over there. I'd love to live on a houseboat. And uh, yeah, big buildings over there. All right, let's keep on walking. Bit of a long walk there. So, found a nice little spot, nice little bench just by the bridge that we're going to cross over. Uh, first I'm going to roll a joint here for the way, so what a nice spot on a nice day. There you go, people. Roll up a joint of uh, what I've got from Club Media. Look at that place there. wonder how much that is. He's sick to live there. Here we are, crossing the bridge now then. Towards Santa. People just crossed over the bridge and uh, just smoking what I got last night from Club Media. Uh, can't remember what it is right now, but get attacked by a wasp. But yeah, it's one of the best of the trip. So let's go to the next coffee shop on the tour. Come on, speakeasy coffee shop. Uh, I'm not sure if it's open to be honest with you, because they're doing work there. So anyway, on to the next one again. Then. So we're in the east now on the coffee shop tour. Come to the point, but um. Yeah, this one shut down ages ago. Still got the sign there, you can fairly vaguely see it there, but yeah, point shut down. On to the next. coffee shop tour in the east. I'm actually looking at an old coffee shop map because this is a Los Angeles coffee shop. And as you can see, it's been shut for quite a while. So, on to the next one again. 
so that's another two coffee shops that are, no longer exist and it doesn't look like another one's taking it over so i think they've been shut for a while now so like i said before i'm looking at an old coffee shop map but um yeah so the point and also los angeles both shut permanently. So found the next coffee shop anyway. Nat de Graal in the east. So at least we found one that's open. There you go, Nat de Graal. Next coffee shop. Outside Nat de Graal. Um, no smoking area in there. The guy did say I could sit in the back and have a quick joint, but I couldn't stay long, so no. Nah. And it didn't seem too much on the menu, so I'm going to go to the next coffee shop. And finally, uh, hopefully I'll get someone to sit down. Went in another coffee shop, um, Crash Light. Uh, probably the worst menu I've seen in any coffee shop in Amsterdam. Pretty much nothing on it. Um, obviously didn't have a lighter. So, um, yeah, didn't go in there and couldn't get any footage because there was two guys um, sat outside there so I couldn't really start doing a film. So, unfortunately, nothing to show with Crash Light, but there wasn't really much to show anyway. But big up all the coffee shops anyway. All right, on to the next. Okay, well, on our way to the stud. Again, real nice area of Amsterdam in the uh, South East. So it's a bit of a 10 to 15 minute walk to the stud. So let's keep going. Nice. Okay, so it's been a mission of a walk. Oh, there's how many kilometers I've done already today. But this is what you do in Amsterdam to get to these coffee shops. So, we might not be able to see it in focus now, but once we get over here, across the bridge and on the other side of the road, we've got a, a coffee shop rated one of the best in Amsterdam. So, uh, <clears throat> back in a minute and we can see it. But there you go people, first uh, joint of the day, well not first joint of the day, first joint of the day inside a coffee shop at the stud and uh, as I was leaving I uh, wanted to buy a coffee shop like that and the guy gave it to me for free, legend, said uh, don't tell anyone but obviously I'm telling everyone it's a video in it but good man, nice one, uh, animal cookies, 14 euros, Cali apparently, uh, it was quite nice, can't complain, again still a bit flat but then when I was thinking about it, if you're buying Cali for 14 euros, it's not going to be fucking perfect white ash Cali, is it? So, anyway, on to the next coffee shop just up the road here. But yeah, the stud. Yeah, good stuff. Nice. Good menu. Too. Here it is. Next coffee shop. Best friend's boost. Best friend's can There you go. Go there in a minute. I've just been in best friend's. Been in best friends, Oost, the Canada Centre, and um, interesting bit of information I found out there because obviously I said uh, we got a smoking area because I saw there was a smoking area there. He said uh, we're not allowed to let people use it anymore. It's a new law. I don't know how long this law's been in place, but only in the centre areas you can smoke now. All the smoking areas are shut and pretty much take away. But I don't really understand that. So obviously the stuff you can sit down in there. But yeah, there's at least three or four coffee shops I've been to today, and we've got a smoking area there, but they're only takeaway, they can't let you use it. So, interesting bit of information. How true it is, not sure, but anyway, back in a bit. So, I remember as well, uh, Best Friends, that's probably one of the worst menus I've seen as well. Um, no, I don't really look at the hash, so I can't sort of comment them on that, but the wheat and the yeah, the flower, there was not much choice in there at all, so even if there was a smoking area, I don't think I would have sat in there. So let's go to the next one, I think it's our water too. So, like with a lot of areas in Amsterdam, there's always these nice little squares that people sit at, take the kids, nice fountains. Lovely in this type of weather. As I've been to Amsterdam over 40 times, most of the time it's cold, it's only probably about three or four times. I've been in the hot weather and, yeah, it is nice in the summer. Well, I say summer, September now, but the yeah, summer weather. So yeah, on to the next coffee shop. Okay, 
people. Coffee shop order. Number two, I think that is. Coffee shop order two. Uh, I've already got a water light, I still won't be running that. But uh, you can see, quite a busy street. There it is, coffee shop order. Yeah. Constant work going on in the Amsterdam streets. Keep this place going. Quite new drainage or something on gas lines there. Right there. Not a job I want to be doing, but probably good money. But anyway, uh, let me check my map and see where I'm going. Look my way to Treff Punt. Um, well, I've actually seen a map of these, I'm pretty angry, so I might get a quick burger and then check where I'm going from there. There's a KFC down there as well. So, back in a bit. Coffee shop, where are we going? Happy people. Really busy uh, market street this morning. I think it's a Daffa Market or something. Daffa Market, but we're going to go to Happy People Coffee Shop. There you go, coffee shop eastwards. Gonna go in here afterwards, just having a quick look at the shop front. Coffee shop eastward. So there you go people. There's not many uh, windmills in Amsterdam. It's one of them in the east. There you go, I've just been in coffee shop eastward. The first time I've been there, last time I was having a refurb. See it in the distance there, coffee shop eastward. Uh, menu not great and just take away as well. Um, we'll come up to another coffee shop. Coffee shop Treff Punk. Looking pretty uh, pretty nice from the outside. Let's go and have a look in there. So, coffee shop Treff Punk. In Mako Hayes. 12 euros. Here we go, Treff Punk coffee shop. It's right up the Mako Hayes. A nice cappuccino. Yeah, definitely a nice interior to the coffee shop. There's an outdoor bit in there. I don't know if you can get out there or not, but maybe it's smoking out from there. But yeah, nice coffee shop. We're going to smoke this Mako Hayes, 12 euros. Coffee shop Treff Punt. This is the uh, Mako Hayes. 12 euros. Really nice haze in the morning. Nice thing to have a trip. Yeah, nice, good price. Friendly bug tender. And um, yeah, really nice, cool coffee shop. Room temperature as well. When the stud earlier is absolutely roasting. So um, yeah, nice coffee shop here, Treff Pump, in the East Amsterdam. Enjoy this Mako Haze. Strong as fuck as usual. They do like the strong coffee here. So I'm uh, going to head back into the centre. There's still a few more coffee shops in the east. But um, yeah, for now I'm out of here. Coffee shop trek on. So still in coffee shop trek on. Finishing up the coffee and we uh, had Mako Hayes. Really enjoyed the game. And uh, yeah, nice coffee actually. Probably the best coffee I've had in a coffee shop. So, uh, there we go. We need to see. I think we're going to Yogi Leeds next. Little Beats. So, uh, yeah. There we go. Trek Pan. Okay, so we've just been in coffee shop Trek Pan. Nice coffee shop actually. Nice friendly uh, bud tender. Not the biggest menu, but I asked him what he recommended. So I've got the Mako Haze. Really nice for 12 euros. So now we're going to Noble Beats. So we've arrived at another coffee shop. Noble Beats. So we're going to go in here and then we're going to head to uh, Pet Bologna next. So uh, last one in this area, then we've got about a 20 minute walk, I think. So let's go inside Coffee Shop Noble Feeds. So, went to Coffee Shop Noble Feeds and uh, not much on the menu. But yeah, no Noble Feeds, not much on the menu, just a uh, takeaway only and uh, no coffee shop lighter. So, um, yeah, 
I think now I'm walking to uh, Het Boulanger or Het Boulogne, whatever it is. Um, real good coffee shop. So I'll be definitely sitting down in there and chilling and uh, get another gram. And then after that, I think I've got one more coffee shop to go to. Then I'll be heading to Central. So much more, lots more footage to go. It's been here for a day and a half. So let's do this Amsterdam trip, September 2022. Smoke Dog TV. Okay, hey people, not got much battery at the moment. I need to save it for the coffee shops that I'm going to, but just got to show this uh, monument here at the end of Safari Strat. Okay, on to the next one, Het Bologna. There is people. Het Bologna, Het Bologna, however you say it. Uh, one of my favourite coffee shops on the outskirts. Of the, uh, not too far from the centre now. Anyway, we're going to go in here and hopefully, if there's space, we're going to have a, uh, a bit to inside Het Bologna. So there you go, Het Bologna. Long view coffee shop. So just been in there. Um, asked the bartender what he recommended. He said everything. Showed me a couple of things: uh, acai cake and uh, white runs. Uh, it's not quite nice, but then uh, showed me the RS11, the Cali. Was well, smelling really good, so I thought, fuck it, I haven't really bought any Cali in this trip. I did buy some from the stud, but it was cheap Cali, so uh, I bought it the RS11, 25 euros a gram, and uh, yeah. Was a really nice smoke, smoking actually clean, actually enjoyable to smoke. So the Cali is obviously always going to be the best in it, but you just couldn't afford to buy 25 euros all the time. But yeah, so Pet Belanger coffee shop in the distance there. Uh, now we're going back to Central. Okay then, so battery's nearly dead. Just on the way to the last coffee shop, the tour of the east, and I'm heading back to my hotel. Going to uh, freshen up there and charge my phone obviously get ready for later so i'll be hitting the central later and uh so at the moment we're going to the last coffee shop and hopefully my battery doesn't die so yeah another really nice area of after that so so many nice parts of the city and it's actually quite funny i was actually looking at accommodation on booking.com i saw quite a few of these things over there like our old river houses. So you can actually stay in there like the old where the guy used to be in charge of the bridge. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, save the battery for the coffee shop there. Overcamp. Use it herring hut, herring grass. Right on the corner of the street. In the uh, Japan quarters right now. Smoking on there, well, not the family first, that's actually better than the first time I had it. But yeah, nice little coffee shop. Just chilling in the Japan quarters. Too expensive for what they are but they're pretty sick with that little terrace out there so yeah just come out of uh the over camp porters two little tables outside nice coffee shop but now uh we're walking back towards central so my battery is going to be dead any minute now so nice bridge there and i uh, didn't get anything from the over camp porters i just uh got a lighter a mascot one and had a drink and a bit of so back to central now okay people see you in a bit so before my uh, battery runs out, I'm on the way back to my hotel now. So we have a massive coffee shop tour today, starting off in sort of the south and ended up in the east, looping round. Um, so the coffee shops I actually bought weed from was the stud. Uh, I got the animal cookies, uh, tally apparently 14 euros. Quite nice, not burning perfectly, but I was quite happy with that. And I sat in there and had a joint. Might be the hottest coffee shop I've ever been in. Um, where else did we go? Went to uh, Treff Punt. Uh, got a gram of the Mako Haze. 
really nice haze actually for 12 euros. And uh, again, sat in there, real nice coffee shop. Um, I went to Het Boulanger and ended up buying some Cali. Don't normally buy Cali, but 25 euros are on 11. And uh, like you'd expect it to be the best smoke I've had for the 25 euro. But it was burning and really tasted really nice. I'd not had RS11, RS11 before. And for now, I think that's all.